Welcome to Podcast 2-4, Angles and Parallel Lines. In this lesson, we'll be looking at two parallel lines cut by a transversal. And when that happens, we're going to get eight little angles. The point of this lesson is to discuss the vocabulary of communicating any two of these angles and looking at their numeric value. So again, vocabulary of the angles in question in pairs of angles and the angle measures that we get and that's either going to be equal angles or supplementary. Not much to do. Let's take a look at this sketchpad activity. Between the parallel lines creates an interior region. So any of the angles in this region we call interior. Any of the angles out in this region we call exterior. So of the eight angles in question they are either interior or exterior. Adjectives that describe where they are. Here are the interior angles of these parallel lines and here are the exterior angles of these parallel lines. And these are the actual measurements of these angles. As I change the direction we get different measurements. And by now you've noticed that any two angles that I pick randomly are either going to be equal to each other or those two angles are going to add up to 180. For example, if this angle right here is 61, how much is this one? Well, you can tell 61 is less than 90. This one appears to be less than 90. It's the same. If I asked for an angle that was, say, this one, larger than 90, then it has to be the supplement, 119. If I ask for this angle, less than 90, must be equal. Any two angles in this picture are either equal or they add up to 180. Types of angles. The first type is corresponding. Corresponding means they have the same position. That is, of this cluster of four angles up here, the one that is in the upper left-hand side would correspond to, of the group of four down here, the one that is in the upper left hand side. So these two are corresponding. For that same reasoning, what's corresponding to this particular angle? Well, of this group up here, the lower left hand side would correspond to this angle. Corresponding angles have the same position. The next type of angle is alternate interior angles. Well, interior angles would certainly be one of these four. Alternate represents those on different sides of the transversal. This being the transversal, different sides would be these two. 61 and 61 are interior and on alternate sides of the transversal. You might think those are interior and on alternate sides, and they are, but we've already given them a name called linear pair, adding up to 180. So we're not going to use those two. This is a different type. You'll find that all these names involve an angle from one cluster, one vertex, going with an angle with the other vertex. Alternate interior. The other pair of alternate interior would be this angle with this one. Our next type is alternate exterior. Well, exterior angles would be these four. Alternating on the transversal would be, for example, these two on the exterior sides of the parallel and on different sides. And the other example would be the 61's. Alternate exterior angles. Our next type is consecutive interior. Well these would be the interior angles. If they're not alternate, that is, given this 61, not one from this side, but one that's on the same side of the transversal. In other textbooks, they were even called same side interior. But now we use the term consecutive. Consecutive means in order. So of the four interior angles, if we were to look at them in order, like we were going around a circle, this particular angle, 61, would be followed by this one. That's why one is consecutive or next to the other. Or this 61 would be followed by that one. So these two are considered consecutive interior these two are considered consecutive interior. So to put the two together, we have a vocabulary knowing the types of angles and what they're called. Corresponding alternate interior, alternate exterior, consecutive interior. And then we have the idea of their measurements. And as you can see, of any two angles we pick, 
they're either going to be congruent or supplementary. So then to put the two together, like I said, corresponding angles, do you know where they are? For example, here and here. And we know that they are congruent. Alternate interior angles, we know that they are here and here. And we know that they are congruent. Alternate exterior angles, we know that they are in these locations and they are congruent. And finally, consecutive interior they are in these locations, and instead of congruent, they are supplementary, or their sum is 180 degrees. And that concludes Podcast 2-4, Angles with Parallel Lines.